So we're going to take a moment to look at the consequences of dominant and inferior functions for each of the 16 personality types. The dominant function is what people are most likely to do, while as an inferior function is what is most seen when people are in stress. So first, let's look at dominant sensing and inferior intuition. That means that these are applicable to the following personality types, ISTJ, ISFJ, ESTP, and ESFP. So these personality types are more likely to recognize pertinent facts, apply experience to their problems, notice what needs attention almost immediately. They keep track of essential items and they handle problems with realism. Under stress, these types are going to become caught in a rut. They may tend to consistently rehash the same details. They get stuck, they lose common sense, and they cannot find a way out of their problems. They have difficulty seeing any kind of solutions. They will view all future in negative terms and they're going to become very pessimistic. With dominant intuition and inferior sensing, that is INTJ, INFJ, ENTP, and ENFP. So this type is going to be likely to recognize new possibilities, have novel and wonderful innovative solutions. They love to look at the future and they're going to watch for any kind of ideas. They're going to create extensive lists of ideas even. And they're going to tackle new problems with great energy. Under stress though, they become very overwhelmed with ideas and possibilities as everything looks very equally enticing. And they have a hard time judging between which is best. They get obsessed with unimportant details and they become preoccupied with one irrelevant fact. And they're going to keep rehearsing that one fact, making it represent the entire part of their life. They ever indulge in sensory pursuits, meaning that sometimes they will overeat, they will overdrink, watch too much TV, and even exercise too much. When we look at the dominant thinking, an inferior feeling. This is ISTP, INTP, ESTJ, and ENTJ. And in the best circumstances, they're most likely to analyze situations and find flaws in advance. They are very principle oriented, having a strong foundation on values and principles, and they're going to hold to them very consistently. They weigh the difference between the law and the evidence, and they stand firm on any opposition. However, when they become stressed, they become exceptional opinionated almost to the point that they lose all reason. They have uncontrolled emotional outbursts and they show anger and other emotions unexpectedly. They're hypersensitive and they take criticism overly personally. In dominant feeling and inferior thinking, which is ISFP, INFP, ESFP and ENFJ, they're more likely to empathize with people and be concerned how others feel. Remember, these are types that are others centered. They allow for extenuating circumstances and they like to know what is really important. They appreciate each other's contributions. However, in stress, they stop listening to others and they're even going to ignore the needs of others. They're also going to become so sensitive to conflict that they tend to ignore it or just simply avoid it. They're hypercritical and they're going to find fault with everything and they will even act overly domineering. They will take charge. Remember that if people have a preference for extroversion, it shows the characteristics of a dominant function. When you look at them, you're going to see the dominant function. And if you have a preference for introversion, it means that those characteristics are internal and therefore they're not going to be very evident to others. They're not going to be seen very well. This means that as an extrovert or an introvert, you're going to need to have to work harder to really communicate. Remember that the inferior function usually shows itself in the form when it's under stress, it's ill or fatigued, but these are only a few of the common promptings for the inferior function.